Everybody, welcome to After Quest. I'm Dan Stacy, and you are about to witness my nerdy family and I use silly voices and digital dice to tell a good story. I'm a little gravelly today. My can can is... you guys hear us? See us? I hope so. I'm sure of it. I think so. Well, usually I you see ask. Us. Oh yeah, that's also true. As always, <laughs> shout out sound. Rex I didn't... has got it. Rex, Rex is good. Rex has got it. There's mustache. Thank you guys. <laughs> Jake scared me for a real hot second there. I kind of I saw you panic. Sorry. <laughs> no, you got gonna... My bad. I just used his spiel. He missed a part of his spiel. <laughs> we got it playing right there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, mustache. <laughs> Gravelly voice. But uh, I'm going to do a soft announcement. I didn't tell Jake this, but in December, dark December, with the Interplanar Crossroads, of course, check out Adam's channel as well. We're going to be recording the Around the Hearth chats for dark December uh, this Saturday. So, to and tomorrow because we are in Neolithic November currently. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, our Forest Forge for the Neolithic November game. Check that out here on Rumble. Uh, but at the end of December, one, I'm going to save one surprise. We have a special guest running a game in December. But then also we have, <laughs> <laughs> we have um, Dennis from OKSDM OK on YouTube. His Sagas game, we're going to be playing that with several other content creators, DM Tales, Tyler from Min Max Podcast, and Adam from the Interplanar Crossroads uh, at the end, to end our Dark December. So it's going to be two really awesome games. We'll do a big shout out next after Quest or Force Forge or something for, for all, of um, all of it. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. And of course, Neolithic November. And Jacob and I are in talks for some special things yeah. starting next March. So if you want to be a part of these games, now is the time because things will be changing with the new year. I'm so. really excited. Yeah, I actually worked on awesome. some of it today. Oh. I am. Mm. We'll make a big video announcement for what we want to do. It's a change with Discord channel and stuff. All good stuff. Awesome. Seriously good stuff. Yeah. I'm, and uh, I'm really excited for it. So I think that's enough announcements. Let's play Nobles of Waterdeep. Awesome. Hi, guys. Hello. Yeah. So, <laughs> last time, last two times, we were at a, a opening ball. It was fun. There was excitement. If you haven't seen it, there may have been lots of dancing and dates and backstabbing. <laughs> Go watch and find out. But in all seriousness, the, the night ended with some gallivanting around the town and um, some interesting... <laughs> Rex would like you to do recap. But I'll continue uh, for right now. <laughs> although, too late. Oh, you, you'll just oh, have to continue. Man. Is the truth recap is I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> I danced with somebody. There was dancing. It was what did the dance sound like? What? Oh, what did the dance like? sound like? We got something, guys. Hmm? <laughs> oh, no. And I gave it to Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jake. <laughs> if you put him over there, you're going to forget about him. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Oh, Sorry, Mike. Over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Woo! All right. That was what some of the dancing sounded like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. I love it. That's going to be too much fun for tonight. Um, so... Yeah, so we're playing 5th edition. Oh no, I went too far back. Uh, <laughs> we're okay tonight, guys. Um, in all seriousness, we are going to do a little bit of an interesting time skip today. So we're going to talk about, of course, we're going to roleplay, because that's what we do. But there's going to be, we're going to do the 
battle between Tetsu and the Griffin, young Griffin. And our players here are going to be doing some things of their own. So I think you guys have a little bit of role play to add before we start into me breaking down the challenge event. Um, right? You guys are talking about the request of what you want to do. Yeah, I think that evening, finding out we're all there, um, Lucius would not let anybody wipe off the blood off the feet. We're going to leave it and uh, cast. I'll let you take care of announcing what's happened here. Excellent. Um, is it Drew Moore? Um, we need to find out what happened and who was trying to hurt Tetsu, kill Tetsu. I don't even know what was on that knife, but I trust you both to figure it out. We will, Lord Lucius. But, uh, currently, our men are looking into the poison and possible suppliers. Well, are we looking into the poison in general, or are we looking into this particular incident? She's kind of addressing this to Isidru, because... Well, I imagine that whoever... We don't have a exact enemy that we know of that we could just go after. So we'll have to figure out who could have had access to the poison, narrow down some informants, and figure it out from there, I would think. Of course, that's how these things work. I was just sort of wondering, I suppose this is a question for the both of you, but how far do we take this upwards? Because upwards is indeed where it will go. Yes, I think we need to find out, but we can't approach necessarily, well, depending on how high it goes. Not until we find out perhaps who... And then we can plan accordingly. But anyone your mercenaries find is hardly going to be anyone more than someone looking for a bit of coin. I'm sure they've got nothing personal against you or Tetsu. So they're only going to be a lead. Do what you need to more to find out. All right. I can show you to drew a thing or two about how these things work. Are we supposed to be taking justice into our own hands? This isn't about justice. It's about interrogation. I mean, that's not necessarily against justice. Well, let's put it this way. Disagree if you think, but we're not here to punish anyone. We're just here to make our own chess move. A sidestep. So, I guess going back to that, uh, would say we do find who sent that would be assassin. Um, what do we do with them? We send a message of our own. This just becomes a very long conversation that will probably go through the entire game. Very well. Um, I imagine you know what you're doing more than I when it comes to. Uh, Rooting out nobles. Oh, hardly. I just know to take it one thing at a time. Don't plan too far ahead. Awesome. I agree, yeah. it's only- <laughs> <laughs> I'll about give you a minute just to find figure things out now. <laughs> All right. So, Lord Lucius, over the next five days, what is Lord Lucius's goal? Um, he wants to start figuring out, yeah, I saw, new trade routes and things to be able to start expanding their reach with um, obtaining these new kinds of goods of animals. And Monster stuff. parts. Monster parts. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to go for. Mm-hmm. So... So I don't know if that would be because I'm looking. Do you can you pull up the the hunting grounds map? Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm looking at, and uh, so I see that we're very close to Galadris for yes. the most part. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, because we're blue. It's gonna take a moment. It's a big map with a lot. Galagus is green. Correct. And there, Navarre is red. There are some grays, mm -hmm. and you don't have to like connect your hunting lands. I mean, if you want to go out and try to claim or stake other hunting lands out, these are the ones that have just been claimed and staked for now. There are other options out there. It's not like Risk where you have to invade the adjacent ones. Correct. It's not <laughs> like Risk. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, what should I do any kind of role to find out what would be the most advantageous So the stars area? after their names are higher quality monsters are found there. So there ah. is there is a whole system going on there. Okay. Um, okay. See, like the three star one was the one we got the oracle. Oh. From. Yep. I was looking at the Parholm Hills in the middle ish. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, two. Yeah. That's a two star one. Yeah. <clears throat> Not anything that would um, cause tension with other houses necessarily. Right. But maybe. like, yeah, trying to expand. Just kind of a. Take up a little more. Room. Take a little more. Room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that the one you're looking at then? Which one was it? I was looking at Parholm Hill uh, in the middle. Yeah. Well, let me pull up my other notes. My other, other notes. Hold on. Yeah. Because that would be a great spot in between Galadris and kind, you know. It's another one. They like me. Oh, those bugs. That yeah. poor bug. Box Elder Beetle. They just really like me. I mean, of course, my it. notes are taking them over the load. So, um,. <laughs> I'm looking up who owns that one because that one is claimed and I have it assigned to a house. So I, I want to just double check real quick. Say House Horsey. <laughs> no, that would be great, right? Yeah. House Horsey hasn't bought <clears throat> theirs yet. And it doesn't have to be necessarily like we could be making agreements or anything like that. Like it doesn't have to be invasive. No, no, no. Could be right? trade, can yeah. be betting, could be. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you're like, yeah. you could bet. That wouldn't be Lucius. <laughs> well, that's why I looked over towards our good friend. <laughs> Perhaps there might be a few deals. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're certain of victory every time. You seem to know Galadris pretty well. <sighs> Seen you down. He actually blushes. <laughs> I'm. I, I think we're not talking about the gal in the dress. <laughs> <laughs> <Let your break>. <laughs> 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 right, right. Yes. Um, well, I think between Drew and I, yes, a little bit. We're we're trying. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of surrounded in a way by them. So it would be good to branch out uh, east. Mm. Well, my one note's unloaded. That's fine. The other thing to consider is work. that smaller houses may have, that even if they have like better rated hunting grounds, they may not have the resources to properly hunt them. So if you maybe could put a deal yeah. of giving them a little bit back for the use of it and you could take the majority but kind of pay them a fee for using it. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that one's <clears throat> that one's owned by House Hawkland. Really? Oh, perfect. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I just like I had to yes. check my notes load. Yeah. So the perfect target. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why did you pick that one? No. <laughs> yeah, two stars. <laughs> Um, um, it's your fault. <laughs> not my fault. Do you want me to add a role to that of a persuasion of talking? We'll get there. So okay. when we enter into the challenge event, we'll get. We'll, so what it's going to do is we're going to switch scenes for the like the next five days. But in between those five days, we're going to be doing um, the scene of the one battle of Tetsu. So it's going to be happening like just kind of. So we cover five days, and we have a wonderful little battle of Tetsu and mm. the young Griffin. Mm -mm. So during those five days, Lucius has been making some kind of trade duel, deal with Hawkland. Hawkland. Yeah. Now, what could be interesting is there's a chance that you guys could be facing Hawkland in the third round of these challenges. Mm. So use that however you wish. I know you're not a betting person, but. I, and Cass, you're not required to do anything, but what would you like to do? Uh, hmm. <laughs> well, I think probably get in, um, uh, uh, get into more, I think work on connections with Galadris then. 
they're busy for chatting. land or for other intentions. Why not mix business and pleasure? Mm, intriguing. <laughs> Which is kind of, I mean, that is basically how I presented it to Lady Valera. It is business and pleasure. I, we don't have to roleplay this. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob not wait to flirt with a player. What happened? No, I want to well. flirt. <laughs> he just also wants to move along. <laughs> no, I no, love for real it. though. Yeah. yeah, it would yeah, be yeah. a little of both. So tonight the goal is to have five days move forward, <laughs> house horsey. But if you want to buy some land, this guy can help you out. The ball has become our Jacob sick. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what that means, but I think what it was insinuated yeah, that you didn't want to flirt. So of yeah, of course I want to flirt with you. <laughs> I, even, I even want a tie for you. Really not fun. I want to flirt with all of them. <laughs> all right. House Horsey also wants to say that they're staking out Unicorn Run. I saw that. Yeah. That's Which, pretty great. To be fair, we found it. does I, sound about right. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, feels right. Unicorns well, in the forest. How much is it worth for you guys? Ooh. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Highest bidder gets the title. They're probably right. there regardless of who owns it. <laughs> They're just chilling. <laughs> They're just hanging out. <laughs> awesome. I actually got to find where Unicorn Run is, or do I got to make it? It's northeast. It's in the mountain. Oh, yes. yes Star yes, Mountains. Yes, yes. Very nice. Yes. They claim all of Unicorn Run. For Technically, e I think they claimed the rest of Fey Run entirely at one point there. <laughs> the, I did see something along those lines. Yes. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so I, I think that would probably make sense then. Caspian will focus on getting more connected with Galadras. Mm -hmm. For land, for mercenaries, for I'm out of here I'm trying to prep my mind of what this romantic business trip would be like. Yeah. Uh it would it would be all of that. It's trying to I it would be reestablishing that we can actually talk to each other, first hmm. of all. So yes. it would have silent. To be, right. So it's interesting that your Nat Ones have made this. <laughs> right, because I think it's already a little spicy. We, you know, yeah. we looked at the stars all night. Uh, so. You and I didn't role play anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's back. <laughs> Listen, and I'll so. wear a dress, chat. Come on. I mean, I don't want to. I, <laughs> you gotta force me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> but no, yeah, I think it would be starting there. The idea is that, because we still want to have healthy competition, but we're interested in how can we yeah. take both of our assets to the next level. So hmm. Interesting. Okay. All those assets. <laughs> Lumps it makes of it money. so easy. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'm starting the night out nice and warm. I'm here for you, buddy. All right. Well, the, your your scene's coming up, just so you know. Not no, not yeah, not, I know, not I know. The Galadriel one, but I mean, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, carry on. <laughs> yes, very eager to explore hills. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love chat. That that was me. That was chat. I know. Oh no, I was looking at the camera. <laughs> All right, guys. So, <clears throat> we're going to cover five days. And some of it's going to be an interesting time warping situation, too. So, that being said, the arena is packed. Filled for technically not the first battle. There's been a couple other in other sections. Oh, okay. sections mm -hmm. But of your guys' section of Waterdeep. Because obviously we broke down the nobles. This is the first one. You guys get it. Let me just double check that. I'm pretty sure you guys are the first ones. This is our bracket. Of your bracket. Yeah. Okay. For, okay. So they, there's Not other brackets that have already yeah. begun. Yes, because you guys are against. Okay. Yeah. Number one is House Galrun versus House Kiseri. And then the victor is going to go against House Tarm. Okay. Beautiful. Does this sound correct, everybody? Mm-hmm. Sounds good to me. You have it made it sound well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. The arena is packed. It is wild and loud, and there is walks of all lives there. Lives? Lives? Sure. They're all there. It's great. It's loud. It's fun. It's filled with people and excitement. The flags of House Kiseri 
are lining the outside, intermixed with the house Growlhound, or Groundhog, as some people have called it. <clears throat> Only with love. <laughs> the announcer for House Growlhound steps forward. Today, the great house of House Garund. Growlhound, he chokes on his own spit. <laughs> We have the most beautiful creature in all of Fae Run to step forth and fight some low-life buffalo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we have our our griffling and some some of the crowd goes wild. Mm -hmm. He didn't do the very best announcement, but you know, a little nervous in the beginning, right? And stepping forth to announce House Kisari. I'm going to walk back. Out. Well, at least I can say my name properly. <laughs> Not bad. I smack his butt. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay? It's the same announcer in the ball. He got fired. Yeah. And he's been rehired by <laughs> House Galron. Grailhun. They must be falling in hard times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was cheap. Ah. <laughs> uh, Right. Tongue be nimble, tongue be quick, tongue light up their hearts like so many candlesticks. I'm giving myself bardic inspiration. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's not how that works. No, but I know. It's, it's fine. <laughs> uh, my lords and ladies, master of the games, I thank you for this opportunity, but most of all I shall be speaking, and he turns around to face the crowds, all of you, the good Folk of Waterdeep. Woo, yeah! I hope your drinks are as strong and deep as the waters of our home, for we are here to bring you a most excellent show. We are not only here for beauty. That is all well and good, but today, I know you all seek blood and glory in combat. And the Bull of the Sea, the Arak of House Kisari, Tetsu, is here. I'm hoping we bring him out right. so they can see it. And as everyone's cheering, he's going to hop up onto the fence. Hopefully, I'm just playing. But hop up onto the fence behind Tetsu and have put his hands behind his back. But I must say one thing, and it grieves my heart to bring this news to you all. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. There is cloak and dagger. There is shadow and poison at work. Some of the houses here do not find so much trust in their statutes, trust in their beasts that represent them. Do you not see that our Arak is already stained with blood? He has already been tested in combat. He has come out victorious. His hooves will remain stained with blood as he takes this all the way to the end of these games. We stand on honor, just as all of you, good co good folk of Waterdeep, each making gentlemen's agreements, making s trades, doing your work. But there are some here who want to win in the darkness, in the quiet as you sleep. That will not be House Kisari. As the Lord Lucius III has said already, we will stand on the values of our house, and Tetsu is the embodiment of the values of our house. And he will crush everything before him. For it is a dishonor, not only to the master of games and all here, but this sneak thief, this assassin, is a dishonor to all of you. It does not represent Waterdeep, and more importantly, you are here for glory, blood, and combat, not for things to die in the night. So let the game begin. And the, the master of the game steps up. He's in like a perfect viewing house, you know. He instantly just great. Wow! <laughs> he like goes wild, and then the crowd goes wild. I love and um, <laughs> Lucius, are you walking Tetsu out? Um. That would make a statement. I, I kind of yeah. like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like in a place where he could take me out. Yeah. But I'd completely trust him. So right in front of him, I guess. Yeah. yeah. No, I love it because their creature is being raised on a platform on their side in a cage, like a magical cage. 
Nice. So like, I think that just speaks volumes to itself. Mm-hmm. Right, Ash? Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, Lucius? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> He'll turn around before it starts and put his head up against Tetsu for a moment. The crowd absolutely goes silent. Ah, uh, little press the digitation, make it spark. Oh! oh! <laughs> nice. <laughs> but the crowd, like when you do that, is like, <gasps> you know, like the gas. For, I mean, this thing looks horrible right now. It's got stained blood all of its hooves and oh, legs, yeah. and like I mean, on a horns like drip, not dripping, but dried blood all down the horn. Like it's little press digitation. Okay, now it's <laughs> dripping. That's my favorite. Sparks are dripping. <laughs> well, this will be the first roll of the challenge event. Uh, me? Yeah, you. <sighs> Performance. Come on. Okay. You got this. Yeah, you have. <laughs> and you gave yourself border inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nonsense? I'm just spending resources. Inspiring yourself. <laughs> Self-inspiring. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm so awesome. <laughs> so may the challenge event I'm so begin. Awesome. Uh, hold on. Okay. Bringing up rolls. Everything is with your <laughs> Everything is awesome when I'm part of your team. <laughs> <laughs> All right, performance. Ooh. 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 All right. The Bardic inspiration. It'll come into play in a minute. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It'll come into play in a minute because what I'll do is now we're going to go around the room for the first round. And then I will detail the day of the combat and then add a little bit of information to each person's challenge. Cool. So, the battle starts as you guys exit the battlefield. And Tatsu and this griffin begin to go at battle. But first, they just circle each other around as if trying to figure out a weak point as they circle themselves around the arena. Who wants to go first and they're part of the challenge event? Come on. I suppose we could. Give me something. Sure. Sure. Awesome. What are you doing? Where are you going first? So my first stop would be definitely to figure out uh, who would be recent buyers of the poisons. And I think we would just be going after them and finding out information, whether through nice words or a barrel. All right, so you're going to stick with the the poison angle then on this one? Oh, I believe so, because that is a lead, even if... It's a broad one. It is, but we don't even have a sign of who else it could be. We could just go into any sort of bar and just start thrashing around, but we will lose our advantage of stealth. Well, I mean, we could go ask about contracts, who was maybe not available for things. We could ask about people in the streets coming and going, um, who might have seen people. I expect you've already questioned your guards or such like about the manor. Yes, but unfortunately nothing was earned. Um, I guess your guards aren't quite as good as all of your Kisari people always say you are. Well, we are more sailors than guards. We need eyes for sailing, too. Oh, yes. But back to the point. Um, I did want to bring up, if we are going to go down the path you say we should, I do think that's going to be stirring up a hornet's nest. Well, the, the point, rather, is to stir the hornet's nest just in the particular direction you want it to be. But this is your people and your mercenaries and your spies, Isidru. I'm merely here to assist you, so... But that's not the point, is it? Um, Lord Lucius gave us the assignment, not the men, because he entrusted us with the mission. But it's your lead. You have your information. You have your angle. Surely, you must know exactly where you want to start, and I'm merely here to assist that. If that is what you wish to do, we could do that. Um... I do question how you're giving help, though. My intention is to guide you along the way, Um, but first I would rather like to see how you answer these questions yourself. After all, if you are to be the scalpel of Kisari, you must know what you're cutting at, or such a small blade won't do much good. Yes, that is quite true. Well, if that is 
what you wish to do with being in the support role. I can't quite stop you from doing that, so... If you think we start with the poison, then we start with the poison. Very well. That is where we will begin. So, um... Investigation for you. Yeah. What did... Are you doing, like, an intimidation? Just, like, standing by? Just prowessly? Or are you going off on your own? No, she's going to follow him until we actually have somebody to talk to. Okay. <clears throat> Oof. <laughs> We're doing good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, after I get each person's role, then I'll <clears throat> paint the scene for each. Well, this will be group, person, person, Tetsu. Okay. Are, are we going to the the merchant that you know of then, or is that... Basically, yeah. getting um different lists from the merchants that's of recent supply um, buyers. Yeah, it, it, it'll be a... We'll get there in a second mm-hmm. when he gets, so... Because it'll be going off of what um, we've already announced as Casarius about people, you know, buying poisons and such. Yep. So it shouldn't be as suspicious as us pursuing that lead. Yep. So what are you doing to assist? Um... I suppose I could... I actually don't want to assist him right now. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you mind taking an auto foul then? Mm-hmm. One foul? You're, you okay with taking an auto foul? Yeah. Perfect. That works. Because cause she she she's more interested in investigating how he investigates yeah. to start out. That's fine. No, I love it. So, yeah. That's perfect. Wish we had lucky points. Yeah. No, the <laughs> auto failure will gain you... A, that information. Okay. But it, yeah. Is Lucius, excuse me, Lucius ready or Cass ready? Well, I, I mean, you know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think my only question would be where, where are me and Lady Valera, you know, where do we stand at this point? <laughs> You're the man, lead. All right, all right. <laughs> Where are we? The end of that night end up with I, like officially courting, or th- well, that's what I'm thinking. I think we've decided to. I wanted to verify that she yep. was down for that too. That yeah, she said sure yes because he offered. I thought I was my whole body language was yes. <laughs> I mean, I invited you to leave. <laughs> I, know, I just want to make sure you know ah. the page. <laughs> um, so then I think it would be officially announcing that. Okay. So he would he would head, go to the house to request the her hand in courting, like permission to court her. Perfect. And we'll start there. So yeah. Okay. Because then it would be hopefully starting to make a relationship mm-hmm. there, where he's starting to talk, and hopefully it's a positive. And I failed you because suddenly that's the next round because you already rolled. I, that's round. true. Yep. But that's but what I will. I do like next. it. We'll get to that in a minute, Lucius. You, you are up. Where are we? What what chunk of property are we going for? Um. Well, then I was wondering, should I use, because he has insight, should he use insight to see what would be the best? Sure. You want to, you, part of your five days is maybe going to the local library and like pulling off information of these sections and stuff like that, or wherever. Yeah, you know, I was thinking even like yeah, the ahead. government buildings that they have, who owns Perfect. what, and he's just going through it all to try to find. I love it. That's a great, that's a great idea. Okay. I just love it because we're all doing our things. It's great. Oh, oh, girl, come on. <laughs> come on. Wow. Cheers. Right. Thanks for making up with the boys over here. <laughs> so we're going to paint the scene. So we're going to flash back. So we have the little bit of role play, the scene of you guys having Drew and um, Moore having their conversation. And you see the announcement of Tetsu and the scene. And then you have the scene of Lucius going into the office building and pouring through um, documents and stuff like that and trying to figure out the information and we're going to flash back to the battle Tetsu goes around the edge and he's trying to find an angle to get at this griffin that actually is floating around trying to find also an angle to get the Tetsu and they're circling around each other like two aggressive beasts just trying to find a weak spot in the other in their enemy and the griffin makes the first strike, comes down, and tries so hard to get at Tetsu. And Tetsu, very nimbly for a buffalo, for a big creature, for a auroch, manages, due to some training and superiority, manages to <laughs> step to the side 
as this griffin smashes into the ground and the auroch turns on it. And the scene cuts right there and flashes over to Isidru and Mor as they're walking through the lower parts of town, trying to get a hold of this contact. And as they're going through, they find out that the merchant that they had dealt with before, or that they know of, has been killed. But not by the Orok. Good clarification. <laughs> I didn't Just... have that doubt. <laughs> that would have closed that circle real tight. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a moment where you guys kind of like, you walk up. And I like the idea of that Morris kind of in for the imagery, more standing kind of behind Isidru as he's going up to where mm-hmm. the last known, finding out, you know, chatting. Like, you almost like they lean in secretly and have a conversation with a mercenary. And the mercenary's like, dude, he got stabbed in the back alley the other day. You know, like, you know, he got, then he got dragged through the streets by Horse Housey. You know, was... <laughs> <laughs> when was this? Oh, I thought it was, um,. Ah! As a horse goes by, <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep our voices down. Oh, I think it was um, what two days ago. And uh, when was the ball? The let me roll a dice. Okay, <laughs> because this is kind of a weird time stretch. Let's just put some dice on it. Go by yesterday. <laughs> I suppose it could be connected. That would be quite strange, though. Hmm. Well, if I find any leads out, so I'll come right to you. You want me to look into it some more? You may. Uh, continue looking into it, but um, do be careful. Um, I imagine going down this path will be a dangerous one, so just be on the lookout for anyone who would <laughs> want to stab you in the back. He smiles. I got my lucky horseshoe, don't worry. We need to talk later. (laughs) And we'll jump over to Lucius. Lucius, you're in the building. And you are researching all the maps. You're gathering all the maps. You're having no problem getting You even have a uh, research librarian there giving you a hand and helping you out with obtaining the information that you are looking for. And um, as you are pouring over the maps, uh, due to time... And location, you definitely were, Parlo, Parholm Hills is definitely a, a a spot that you could obtain that does have some decent monster creatures there that's not out of the realm of your trading power, essentially. You know, like a three star, as you're studying them, might be a little bit too much for right now. You don't think you have enough pull or leeway with the status and mercenaries and money that you have. But any one or two star would be great. Um, and that one's relatively close to Waterdeep. Um, the other option would be the Thessacana Mountains Middle, which is on the left-hand side. But the problem is, is that is touching right up against Navarre's land. Mm. So, no, there's a road that runs right through there. So, you know, that is another option. So, it's, it, you know, those are the two high potential options. Now, a little farther out, but now we're talking distance. You have Battle Rain Hills center that is a Mm two-star that is relatively accessible so Mm -hmm. those are the three that you get but while you are there you have you are approached by a um a sailor but not one of yours and um so you say you spent some hours there so there's rumors that you're there right Mm -hmm. maybe even more than one day out of the five days Oh, oi, um, I heard you looking at all the lands and properties around here, and, uh, I know House Kisalia is a good sailing group, bro. Yeah? Yes, of uh, course. I, I mean, <clears throat> <clears throat> that, uh, Rose Court Refuge, I heard, is quite secluded, and it would add to your naval capabilities. Mm, what direction is that? Uh, it's in the water. Probably out this way. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Thank you. I didn't even think to look out west. Uh, I mean, I just... Uh, as one who's been released from things, House Than owns that, just so you know. 
Okay. They use it as a more of a storage. They don't take advantage of the creatures that live there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Long live Lord Kiseri. Thank you very much. The so, gentleman looked like he'd lived, lived a relatively rough life. But, he'll, he'll hand him some coin then. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you, my lord. Thank you. They've gained a follower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, reputation increased. Yeah. <laughs> Love it when that happens. <laughs> so then he, he'll pour into that area as well. Because um, from what I'm looking at, we have river access to a lot of these Absolutely, places, yeah. especially battle the Battle Rain Hill area. Yeah. This is um, all along the coast. Yeah, that's all along the coast. Yeah, the you guys, upper water mountains. wise, you guys are pretty dominant. <clears throat> yeah, so I was like, I feel like we can go to any of these. <laughs> so, okay. we'll be pouring over that. Okay, we'll get back around to your next step. Um, well, that's it. That's everything. We're on the next round of the the, the challenge event. That's ding, not ding, ding, that's ding, ding. First challenge event, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I covered everything. That works. For now, more. Don't worry, your failure's coming. <laughs> I thought that was the death. <laughs> no, right, I'm so scared. Let's switch back. No, I'm scared. Maybe it was. Uh, Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Well, I do know. But <laughs> switching back around to Cass. Yeah. Do you request uh, young Valera to... Interesting. She's an elf. Valera to a... <laughs> beautiful Valera. There we go. Mm -hmm. To a lunch, to a dinner. What, what is, is this just a random show up at your house? And hey, I think what's it would up? be whatever the, the formal way to do it is. I'm assuming uh, he's presenting himself to the lord or lady of the house with expressing his intentions. And you're inviting her on a hunt. Ooh, all right. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's something that would happen. That's kind of a new big no. thing amongst the nobles is... You know, oh, I yeah, on a monster hunt. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's so this, do that. Okay. That so you show great. up at the house of Galadress. Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. <laughs> Galadress. <laughs> and uh, you are greeted by the uh, not by Valeria. You're great. You're you are greeted by Talcia, which is one of the sisters. Oh, okay. Ooh. I wonder why you're here. Mm. I do love when I'm greeted that way. Mm. Uh, I, um, he, is it a lord or a lady who's running the lady, house? Lady, sorry. That's head of the household. Oh, the head of the household is lord, but he's not it. Okay. Well, I was hoping to see Lord Galadras. I have uh, some intentions to uh, deliver. Hmm. I can deliver the message. He's not in. He's been out for a while. Oh, unfortunate. But I have access to him. Well, I am here to formally uh, express my intentions to court Lady Valera, and I would love to invite whoever is willing to join us on a hunt. Oh. We know ourselves are far superior to you. That would be both a chance to learn and to test myself, then. I'm just saying. You want to invite us on a hunt so we can make you look like a fool? Well, while I don't go for fool, I do make myself a spectacle as often as possible. Oh, we know. I'd rather have fun. Failure is just another way to learn. Go ahead and roll a diplomacy for your challenge. Got it, bud. Do we have that in 5th edition, or is that another system? It could be Persuasion. It's Persuasion. Yeah. Sorry. Too many They're systems. All, I mean, that's relatively the same <laughs> I knew, thing. Yeah. I mean, come on. No, I legitimately didn't know. That's okay. why I was asking. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. Persuasion. Yeah. All right. Come on. Okay. All right. We're not... Oh, I don't have it on my screen. Got a... Nice. 19 good. total. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Well, um, <laughs> I will have the proper contacts made, and I will let you know. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll get to you. We'll, we'll come back around. <laughs> I'm good. I'm happy. <laughs> More and Isidru, what is it that I are doing? What is the next step in your investigation? Well, what was your plan B? This panned out 
rather more interesting than I had expected, but a uh, bit of a direct dead end, I suppose. Well, I don't quite... Before you ratted him out as well. I'm sorry, what? Well, the announcement of the ball, right? Drawing attention, such things, but I suppose that wouldn't even have affected him, given the timing. Yes, that is... If the, if the merchant was killed before the ball, I would imagine this could be a, a truly planned thing. It wasn't spontaneous. Um, but I am quite um, cautious at this point, because if we are to pursue this, perhaps we'll be getting into more trouble than we first thought, which Honestly, I think for us that is fine. I'm more worried about our, our men. Um, hey, you brought up their their enemies have been beast and the winds and the seas. They we generally think men are for merriment, not for enemies. Well, I suppose that is a rather pleasant way to take life. Um. We needn't involve them more than you want. There's plenty of people in the city that we can talk to, that we have contacts for. We have legs, we can walk about ourselves, we have eyes, we can see. We could see um, which of the mercenaries of the freelance description aren't available for contracts. We could just go and friendly talk to people and find out what the gossip is. You'd be surprised how much you learn over a few pints. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Right now, I want our mercenaries to be focused on the, the poison idea, and we'll go investigate what will most likely lead to something. Um, I just don't want them to be involved in when we get to the higher level of things. I don't suppose they'd really be much good at that anyway. You have to remember, is it true? This is all a game. Yes. A game of man hunting and the like. A game of messages and statements. What we tell everyone else by what we do is very nearly as important as what we learn. Come on. And she's going to take to him to one or several um, taverns where she thinks people that might be willing to take that kind of a contract would frequent. Give me a history check with advantage. I know. I know. I know what I'm doing. It's okay. Kind of recalling what those would be. What? It was almost <laughs> in that one. <laughs> oh, I gotta good. switch back to the screens. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. No, no, no. You definitely recall, well, well you recall some for sure. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing at these? So she's leading you to a place that may have this kind of access. How are you gaining this access? Or however you want to spin it. You don't have to take my route. I was just throwing something at you. I think Mr. Drew would go about it. Yeah, more the way of the sailor. He's gonna be trying to um, and spread merriment and try to get people to drink more than they probably should. <laughs> so is this a persuasion or a performance? Um, I guess it's persuasion. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, my rolls. Lord Lucius. Um, just moves on. <laughs> uh, Lucius is going to get a hold of it's House Thane. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. let me double check something that has the rose cord. Yep, House Thane. Thane. Um, he's going to formally meet with them to have an offer of taking over the rose cord refuge because you haven't used it necessarily, I will be able to actually make some money off of it, and you will be a part of that cut. Huh. Lord Thane, 
would obviously meet with you and have this conversation. <clears throat> I just, we have been losing many Salas lately just because we're not doing the monster hunting. We, we prefer the trading and commerce, but apparently you guys are better at it. But maybe having a deal with you would uh, bring some back, or you're going to take them all, I don't know. No, I would love to be able to make this a gentleman's agreement, but you get a cut. Give me a roll, please. Ah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it feels like a persuasion. It did feel very persuasion in Okay. Mm-hmm. Lucky 13. I'm glad everyone could roll much better than I can. <laughs> <laughs> hang in there, hang in there. <laughs> Yes, Rex, yes. So, we are <laughs> going to cut the scene as they're having the conversation, and we're going to go right back to the arena, where the Tetsu is about to strike in and charge. And as the Tetsu does, the, the griffin, the young griffin, comes to the side with its talons and rakes them down the side of Tetsu as Tetsu goes past him. And Tetsu clearly has a battle wound from eagle-like talons down his side. As Tetsu turns, and you see the sparking between his horns as he stares at Griffin down, and it seems to be charging him with hatred, anger. Find out. On the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, is it Drew and more as you are in this bar and you are getting these gentlemen and ladies drunk trying to gain information. Moore is very much a crowd favorite. And is, drawn, is drawing a lot of attention. Is it true? This particular tavern or bar, wherever it may be, multiple. You're visiting multiple. But you seem to be getting the same result. Nothing. They don't want to talk with you. They don't find you entertaining. They blow you off and they want to challenge more to wrestling matches and fights. A lot of them know her and have seen her around these parts. Not that they don't know you, but that's more entertaining. But there's also the rumors of, oh, I thought she was wearing a pretty dress. Well, she was looking real fine. <laughs> and some of the teasements as you're having your tuffles is, oh, because you're doing a dress, because you're flying a dress. To which she will unquestioningly answer, of course you know I could. <laughs> Then we will go to Cass, who is being invited, or who is the accepting of the hunt is happening. And there is a small little party that has gathered of the elves, and they meet you. Uh, and you're taking them one of your hunting grounds, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which one? Mm-hmm. What's a fun one? I like the Misty Forest. That sounds fun. You're not red. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I mean, we could do it. Blue. I mean, if you would like to, we <laughs> no, can no, really no. spend no, some no, time no. on <laughs> House Nevada. Not too spicy. <laughs> so then let's do... The Lizard Marsh? The Lizard Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds less romantic. <laughs> it does. I mean, you, know, you, could, you could always take them all to Le- Leopold <laughs> Reef. Let's go Leopold oh, Reef, because yeah, that... Maybe in some way it's it's I'm helping well, Lucius I, as well. Yeah, we're gonna get there. And islands sound way more romantic. <laughs> so I love the imagery <laughs> Your of that. Hunting grounds are not romantically named. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are not. Thomas Sloth, slow, slow, slow. slow. Oh, this is another swamp. You guys own swamps. Well, water based. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they know yeah. water. So yeah. swamp and water was why I picked a but lot of But swamps are not romantic. <laughs> We can, we can agree so to disagree. Hungry. I was going to say, we can agree to disagree on this one. There's some really pretty, pretty flowers and mushrooms in this one. Maybe that's part of the the trick. Not exactly a, tri- a friendly kind of trick I play on them is that this is more of a sailing based hunt where we're in ships. Yeah. And we're trying to spear some kind of fish monster or something around the reefs. I love it. And then having a picnic somewhere on one of the <clears> islands. I absolutely love it. So that I'm hoping to catch them a little off guard, like they're expecting something more classic because they have the woods and yeah, stuff. Yeah. It's more on horse. Yeah. No, I love it. 
they're going thinking to ride horses and you rock up with canoes. <laughs> so I love that. Yeah, all with horse names on each little canoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, you. Mm, that's mixing up how I want to run things. We're going to pause on you for just a second. We're going to jump over to Lord Lucius. Sounds good. You know, mixing up a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so. How about we go out there and take a look at. Uh, well, I don't, you can really say what it's worth to you. To actually go out to Let's those. go, Andrew. Let's go. On your way out to the docks, you actually see Cass and his little elf entourage loading up on a Kisari boat. Nephew. <laughs> Hello, my lord. What are you up to? I am taking some of House Galadris on a hunt. Down to the uh, Leopold Reef. Taking some of the younger cousins with me as well. Very well. They're all staring at the Elfman. <laughs> <Not to care. laughs> Don't lose my boat. Perish the thought, my lord. So, yeah. So oh, while you're out, it, you know, mind you, we're covering a lot of time. As you're out at Rose Card Refuge, are, what is something you're looking for? Um, Obviously monsters. Yeah. I mean, how how much of a wealth of creatures are there? Yeah. And if we have the means of acquiring them, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. What do you want to put on that? Uh... I don't know. So nature would work, or investigation, I would take for this one, because you're investigating the region, essentially. Nature. Survival. Survival, Survival I would have work. that. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to just do what you have. But that's the reason. <laughs> no, you can also just choose to fail, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Survival dirty, does work. Dirty 20. But I love it. <laughs> Uh, that was the reason I wanted to paint that picture because I wanted to, her to step forward. And then, no, so now we're back to you. Everybody drink. Oh. <laughs> Everybody drink. <laughs> ah, school. Yes. I'll drop my voice a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. I've been so good. You have, but you. I need to drink, so. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll be naughty. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> the ship is out in the Leopold Reef with your combat, your hunting entourage. That's what it was for. Perfect. And Valeria is loving it. <laughs> She's standing on the prow of the ship, just enjoying the hair and her in her hair. The air. Wow. <laughs> it's calling her a her. Messed me all up. No, it's a Titanic moment. Yeah, it is it's a Titanic, Titanic moment. moment where <laughs> you guys are you're going in through some of the reefs, not exactly fast, but you know, you're the captains you know know these properties mm -hmm. well, these sections of land. And you're you're looking for a creature to hunt. Can it be uh since I did a lot of little escapades with grandfather that it's I'm taking them to one of his special Fishing spots, sort sure. of, where there's some fancy things. It's just flavor. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> You're the best, buddy. <laughs> Would that be a reputation up or down with Grandfather if he was still alive? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it depends on how the date goes. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> so I guess my question to you is, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the hunting part? Are you focusing on the smooching part? Do we have a conversation while this is happening? Uh, just picture her standing on the prow, like holding onto like a rope that's coming off on the sails, with a spear, scouting yeah. the waters, but also enjoying the wind and the smell. It's very tropical, where this, you know, very nice. Yeah, I think it's less of like uh, uh, less smooching time, literally and figuratively. Uh, of more, he's trying to make a really good impression on the family, and okay. this is a chance where he has a little leg up. He's not the best sailor in the world, but he's certainly better than than the elves being from the woods. Okay. So he's having fun and get, having the younger kids there also getting our two families to interact, having the younger, his siblings and some of the cousins there. Love it. Um, and of course, make it a spectacle so that she can see he's doing that and hopefully doing it well. 
Well, what, what kind of roll are we putting on this? Hmm. Let's see. Because <laughs> I don't want to do performance again. I've already done no, that no. in Persuasion. I mean, so if you want to lean into the more on. hunting side. Right, right. Uh, what do we got? Like, maybe, maybe it's just a little... If it's sailing, I guess it would be more like dexterity or something. Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Muscle on a spot. So it could be uh, sleight of hands if you're doing specifically the rope. Um, mm -hmm. Could be That's survival. True. Could be nature too to put you on a try to figure out where the bigger creatures are. Right. Could yeah. Just what? be acrobatics, dancing around. Right. Nimbly. You you tell me what you think would be best. Uh, yeah, it's with the people though. Sorry, I always make it complicated. Uh, let's good. do. Let's I love it. Do, do you think acrobatics. you're too hard? <laughs> well, I'm trying to find the one that matches. Like I have yeah, this yeah. image in my mind, and I see what he's doing, and nothing fits. Animal <laughs> handling, but for the children and cousins. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. <laughs> I mean, um, what would beast. be like doing? I'm helping everyone learn how to s sail a little bit. So maybe it is more sleight of hand or acrobatics. Sure. Yes, both are needed. I mean, tying, okay. tying knots. <laughs> I'll just let it red. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm putting it in your court. Yeah, no, I, I think that'll work. Oh, Watch, I'm going to roll terrible. Oh, boys cool. are on a hot streak. I love there. failures. <laughs> um, and you're still rolling better than I. <laughs> so that leaves Isidru and Morgana. What's happening? Um, she is engaging with the crowd and bantering back and forth and without a lot of trying to um, be very surreptitious about it, is just working her way around towards kind of openly talking about the noble drama and stuff like that just to sort of get reactions out of it okay um which shouldn't be too out of character for her no in general um and she will very much uh if people want to brawl and fight she will kind of do that in order to engage people to draw them in but like kind of have conversations while also like boxing with people being like you know yeah you guys want to you guys want to fight <laughs> then uh you know you talk with me while you do it kind yeah. of thing so give me a athletics check okay and this is going to represent multiple bars and taverns that you do this at so it might cover or it does cover a couple of nights Ooh, we're feeling hot tonight it's okay it makes it more <laughs> fun for me is it true I think at this point, he's really hating the situation. I mean, it's like, for one, it's like, you know, from the ball, it's like, you know, the whole spotlight, he hated that. And now he's like, um, seeing more and being the spotlight in the tavern and he's hating that. <laughs> and he's like, I really just want to blend in and not be here. Um, so I probably would not help in the investigation, but he just wants to stealth and be away from people. <laughs> Interesting. So he, I could take that as a fail. It might not actually be though, because just listening might- No, no, I want a stealth roll. All right. Yeah. And I want it to fail. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are two separate thoughts, but oh. yes. <laughs> that one, that one. Listen. We haven't had enough nat ones. Roll it at disadvantage. Right. 21! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, we'll get around to it. That's everybody for this round. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going back to the arena. Tetsu stands there, charging his electrical energies in between the horns. It's sparkling, it's growing, and the griffin is circling him. He is not moving now. He's like standing there as if like he's just like trying to gather energy. Super Saiyan, right? And <laughs> the Griffin sees this opportunity and takes it and goes to smash into him. And yet again, miraculously, he should not have had the time to do this. He just corners and steps away as the Griffin 
hits the ground, catches itself, swoops back around, and gets it with one of the horse hooves. They have horse hooves, right? Say that right. Oh no, they don't. Sorry. One of the back. <laughs> <laughs> one of the back. She's ready. <laughs> yeah. Kicks it really hard. With one of the back paws, and catches Tetsu again. And then Tetsu stumbles just a second and steps to the side. We need some more successes out of your um, your rolls, guys. Please. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna lose Tetsu. He's good, but Tetsu. <laughs> remember, you guys are there watching, so this is only one day because it's overtime. So mm-hmm. we're gonna jump in real quick. What is what is going on through their minds while they're watching this combat, and they're seeing Tetsu not attack a lot, but very defensively working through and taking a lot of hits. Hmm. Lucius is internalizing it completely because that he's like, ah. Oh. I feel you. <laughs> like, you know <laughs> Just saying. He's just like, yeah, it's, he's just reliving, uh, like, Dogs everything. and dog folk. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cass would be shouting and cheering and singing and just wanting to just... just <laughs> Tetsu, you <use> thunder shock. <laughs> I knew you were right away. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for real, he'd be, like, trying... He'd be shouting and he's just having fun with it, but once... He's shouting for him to take take an attack. I think for Drew, he's he's internally put in a different way. He's he's thinking about like different plays, and what I mean by that is he's thinking of Tetsu and the Griffin as like there's a killer out there, and it keeps stabbing at him, and he wants to figure out how to fight the killer. Mm. So he's thinking of Tetsu as him, you know, getting the marks and such and trying to figure out how do I nail that killer? How do I figure it out? I love it. Oh, more. Um, First of all, where is Morgana sitting? Uh, do, do we have like a box or? A... You do. Mm-hmm. I think each house would, but it would be up to more where she wanted to start, I guess. Um, I mean, if it's a box, I kind of imagine we can wander around it a little bit. So yeah. she probably sometimes is sort of just, you know, kind of leaning back up against something. She probably moves around in it a fair bit because just sitting and watching isn't terribly her thing. But at some point during this, um, we'll say she's either sitting or standing close enough to Lucius where um, she'll just lean over and be like... Just because something wants to fight doesn't mean they want to fight down there. And then just kind of turn around and walk back to the back of the box and just kind of like lean back up against the wall, kind of like she's not very into any of this. Awesome. Is or was Valeria invited to your guys' box or not? Is that too far? Uh, If it, uh, I know we're playing loosey-goosey with time. Correct. This would be so, this would be directly after spending the entire night together. Uh, then probably not yet. Not until the official. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay. He'd make eyes with her wherever she is. Yeah. <laughs> What's the reaction? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> What's the reaction when the back paws strike that suit? Is it gaspy? Is it That's wincy? Gaspian. It's wincy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stoic. Yeah, I think. Yeah, internal. Outward, there's outward. a lot. Uh, you you gave me internal. What's the outward? The outward. It is very stoic. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, analyzing, not necessarily like negative or positive, but more like interesting. Makes you think like a little calculations going on. Around. <laughs> right. Like, and then there's like two parallels of calculations going on. I love it. Just, you kind of gave me yours. Yeah. So yeah. But kind, kind of just a. Yeah. At that point, just kind of like a disappointed sigh. Not. Not disappointed with Tetsu, but just disappointed that this is what Tetsu has to experience. Love it. All right. Cass, we are in the reef. We are searching for a creature. You have captivated most of your hunting entourage with your (laughs) antics. Mm -hmm. And the captain, the first mate of the ship, pulls you aside. So, are we here to hunt? Because we've missed some prime sus- uh, suspects. 
a, a rather large uh look at my list hold on <laughs> giant seahorse just we just missed the opportunity <laughs> <laughs> horses of the sea yeah. uh, oh you've got to shout louder when that happens let's you you told me you were leading this not me <laughs> well, we've got to be more of a team, yeah? Oh, my bad, my bad. No, no, they no, bars. it's all right. <laughs> Hi. From what I understand in front of Lady Valera, you're... Oh, well, I am leading this expedition. Well, it's more it's more for, you know, the Lord there. Let's make sure he can get something. So next time, you let's have a signal. Oh, let me know. This is one of those moments mm -hmm, where, like, mm -hmm. I help you get the help. And then I buy everyone drinks <gasps> after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good oh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, got this. Yeah, oh, the good stuff. Of course. Oh. I'm so <laughs> happy to be part of it. Houseki Sari. Love Houseki Sari, he says loudly. <laughs> uh, I love the enthusiasm. Don't ever do it. <laughs> this is what happens when Drew isn't there to be the mediator. Yeah. <laughs> After that conversation, some time passes and the evening is coming and you know you're going to have to return to port soon. The gentleman in the crow's nest. Hunt a shark! Hunt a shark! Ooh, this is it. Uh, if I think, I assume like our boats are starting to <clears throat> come around, circle around it as best they can. There's probably one lead boat with like bait to attract it Absolutely. that way. You and tell then, me. uh, <laughs> going to try and eyeing with that one captain you was talking to his particular, assuming the Lord, Lord Galadris is in that boat. Well, it's like, you know, get him the good shot and I'll, he'll shout, my Lord, take the shot. I see it now. I'm so we have like, maybe like steampunk. Uh, sure. Um, not not they, harpooning. I was thinking a harpoon gun. You know, maybe. leaping off the ship with the harpoon that's we attached have, to a rope. We and... have dwarven connections, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it could just be a list on the front. Yeah, no, I'd say I just want it to be Lord Gallagher. <laughs> yeah. Take the shot! <laughs> I think you'd be into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, why not? That is so, how nobles go hunting, right? Of course, they're not leaping off a boat with a spear in the water. Sharks? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't tempt me. But yeah, uh, he's hoping Lord Gallagher. Hopefully, Lord Gallagher gets the shot and the kill. I love the image of you, like you, it's like over your shoulder, and you're cheering on Lord Galdress, who's on the the ballista, and <laughs> what? I it's love great. it. It's great. Okay. It's just great imagery. And uh, Valeria, Valeria's like, looks back with the hair waving and like smiles at you, but then you can see like the fierce hunting eyes as she turns back to like the prey that's before them. Like, yeah. You know, and, but like... If you could see her from the front, there's the smile, but from the back, you don't see it, kind of thing. Yes, yeah. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing then? Encouragement of some sort. Hmm. Bardic inspiration. <laughs> no. Do you uh, make me for, roll for you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is no, that no, what's no. happening here? What, what should we do? Maybe. Uh, t -t -t <laughs> oh, I'm on Drew. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I was going to say, too. I was like, I'm looking at the room. Just come <laughs> Um, why don't we do the animal handling this time? I okay. think that makes sense. Sure. Lord Galdris is an animal. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn on. Sorry, chat. And animal handling. Here we go. Okay. okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so you are encouraging him to when to take the exact shot by understanding the movements and how this hunter shark is going to react. And I think maybe that Caspian has jumped up to the the boat with the bait too, and he's oh, he's getting ooh. it lined up in that way. Maybe using a little of his magical um, acumen to what, full make it man. Happen. All right, <laughs> you know. Okay. But yeah, so that awesome. with the animal handling, that he's getting the animal in the perfect spot for the shot. And the shot is well made. It is a critical hit mm. on this hunter shark. <laughs> And then the battle happens, and we'll head to the role play afterwards here in a minute as we jump. Let me look at my notes here. Oh, yeah, we got to do Isidru and more. What's going on? 
I don't know. Did we learn anything from our last bout? <laughs> we just did the rolls and didn't I know, get any. I know, I know. I'm going back right now. So, Drew, you very successfully stand in stealth. But as you do, a gentleman comes and stands next to you. Nondescript, average human. You've been asking a lot of questions. And she sure is one. She's combating over there. What does that mean? You guys are asking a lot of things. Maybe you should be quiet. Well, you would say that, but um, I feel like you do have some interior motivations to come over here. Well, you've been asking a lot of questions. This is your seventh time, and you've been doing three nights. That's my point. And you look exhausted. Well, if... I could kill you right now. Yes, I suppose you could, but that's not why you're coming over here to talk. <laughs> so I want to know... step out in the back. No, we're not. You feel a blade press against your side. Step out to the back. You don't have a choice. As you look around the room, there's more than one in the rowdiness that are just staring at you. As more thrashes somebody in the background. Uh, very well. We can move out to the back. And then you step out the back. And what are you looking for? You looking for a certain poison? I'm not looking for a poison. Well, I'm looking to take over that other guy's territory, and I know you dealt with him once. We, I don't know what you're on about territories and all that. All we really cared about was just looking for someone who encroached upon our house. Nobody down here wants to challenge little Caceres. Well, that's the point. No one... Y'all are so good to the laws. And we want to keep it that way. Now, we want to just find who hired that person who wanted to hurt us. Hmm. That's all we're here for. Oh, i got contacts, but what's it mean to you? He puts, the sh he puts the blade away. I didn't want to have to do that to you anyway. I didn't expect it to go into such a um, possible violent route. I expected we both wanted to get something out of this. Oh, that's why I didn't stab you in there. <laughs> yes, I I'm quite aware. So, <laughs> let's get on with it. Um, well... You said that you're working on uh, getting territory, are you not? Yeah. And where are you trying to n make peace with? What? Do you know much about the little gangs down here? Not very. Well, there ain't no help there. Coin house. I was wondering if you wanted to go that route. Um, oh, come on. What else? What else? What else is that really? Coin helps me gain territory. Helps me get ingredients. I'll bring it to the alchemist to cook. Fine. Well, I guess we could do that. I was just hoping you would be more into supplies than you were into coin. What kind of supplies you got? Well, as you know, we are sailors and we have quite a bit of um, rare commodities when it comes to the seas. Oh. Um, we do... Ur urchin poison? We've got one of the sea urchins. We do, albeit we only use it for very certain beasts because it's not great in order for the capture and you wanting it to stay alive afterward. Mm -hmm. So if you are wanting to take over territory, I would think coin is just an Amer um, it's just the middleman. Let's get you something that could actually do some harm. Yeah. I'm down with it. Where are we meeting? Oh, you want to do an official meeting? Oh, no. Uh, oh. I want on your turf. Not mine. Oh, well. E do you know our, our docks? The Kasseri docks? Of course I've been on the Kasseri docks. Alright. Got um, the best rum. Uh, 
so um, if you if you know that, then you'll know that uh, our barkeep in the, the tavern there mm. um, just mentioned that um, you are here for the sights, but for some reason that you keep smelling the roses. He'll know that you are there for the very beautiful roses that come after death. Ah, perfect. What role are you doing? Um, as you see, as you glance after the fight and Isidru is not there where he once was. I mean, I'd probably, I'd probably go out and look for him because, you know, he's little. He's little. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I love it. Not with a great amount of panic. No. Is it like you wander out the back door? It's, like... it's probably like a... You know, she finishes the, that round yeah. and is, you know, walks over to get a drink and somebody else is coming up for a fight and she kind of looks over and she sees he's not where he was and she just kind of like pushes the guy off and just is like, just walks out. Because he's probably standing near the back door. Yeah. So she's just going to assume and just go walk out the back door. Yeah. And as you walk out the back door, you see the gentleman walking out the alley. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So it worked then. You found someone to talk to. Is he currently still there? He li he's like, he's, he's literally the back of him is like fading out. The okay. alley. Oh, yes. I did find someone from the lower gangs and um, he knows some information. We're going to be doing a trade. Perfect. That was exactly what I hoped would happen. What are you trading? Oh, um, we are trading some Kiseri supplies and getting some info from that. Uh, Seriously, it's true. We're literally working on the same project. You're going to be vague about that. It's it's more fine. Um, we are trading some of the, the sea urchin poisons. I, I know they're not exactly the most upstanding things, but um, we do keep it just in case. Poison has its uses to all kinds of people for all kinds of reasons. It's all over down here. Well, that's not exactly the point, because once someone figures out that that's what it could be, we could be in trouble later. Well, that is why I think that's a very interesting decision you've made. But nonetheless, interesting is sort of what we're going for. Um, right, so where do we go from here? Let, let's suppose... This does get used, this does get found out, this does get traced. What's our angle? I don't follow. But I assume you had an angle. You keep using all these play words as though you expect I'm caught up in all these games. I really could not care for the games. So why don't you use things that's a hunter would use instead of someone who's there to backstab someone she'll kind of turn around and put an arm around him kind of like a but all right maybe i'm not being fair to you it's just that you seem so keen to play the game i i'm don't. trying to put you through your paces i don't care for the game then what are you I... doing here because to... you're playing the game right it's to help lord lucius and if you're going to play the game to help Lord Lucius, you have to know how to play it properly. You can't just decide what the rules are because you want them to be a certain way. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not even talking about that. As you talked about, we have our different roles. My role is not to play in the game. I don't know if you can avoid that. Do you think you can avoid that? No. Then what are you trying to do out here? All I'm trying to do is get my the information for my lord. 
you have to consider everything you do out here is a play to someone, is an angle to someone. Trading the poison will have consequences. Yes. And you have to think of those if you're trying to cover for Lucius. Just saying you don't want to play the game won't make it go away. And frankly, I don't like playing the game either. And maybe I'm being too hard on you. Someone said I don't have ideals too. I just have to remind myself that sometimes that's all they are. Anyhow, I don't think it's a bad thing you've done. I just think we need to think of where the threads are going to lead and decide what we're going to do next accordingly. You're doing okay, all right? She'll give you a little punch. Let's go get the information. And from there, we can make a plan. You don't have to have an angle to everything in life. That in order to live a life, sometimes you just have to play with it. I've, I've learned that from Cass. And trying to have every angle to every which way definitely falls more into Lucius's domain. But that doesn't mean that I want to play that. Yes, we're out here. Yes. We're having to play in the game, but that just means we had to step in it for a minute. That doesn't mean that we have to be in it every second of our lives. And isn't that exactly what you do when you go out into the ball, when you go out into these taverns? You, you have a style about how you want to do it, and you may be uncomfortable while doing it, but as soon as you're out of it, you tear off that uniform once again and go off to live your life. It, you don't have to think everything is a play, everything is a ploy, everything is a tool to be used. That's not you, and that's not me. So let's go just do our job, and then we can continue the joy and merriment of this life. That's not how things work at all. I can do that. And I have done that. But I can't do that here with you, with Lucius. You can't have it both ways. You're exactly right. You can be yourself. But you don't seem to realize when you're stepping into the game and when you're not. That's all. I'm trying to help. And. You're the spy master here. It's your house. If you want to do this on your own, that is perfectly fine. I can stay here in this tavern. I can tear off the dress and I can have a dang good time doing it. That's not my problem. Does that make any sense at all? No, it doesn't. I hope it will before it hurts you or someone you care about. But very well, let's go on. All right, they're gonna head on out. Yeah. Your guys' challenge is done. <laughs> we'll get to the meeting because. You're going to have to do a report to Lucius before the meeting. Right. Okay. Good job. It's a great job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Lucius is not done. And neither is Cass. So. Oh, we got the and neither is Tetsu. <clears throat> I hope so, not. Lucius. <laughs> oh, nice. Lucius. <laughs> nice. I'm hot. Lucius, the thing that you notice the most... The lands are ripe with beasties, wild creatures. The islands are filled with wild creatures. They've only really captured one little island that is 
like a warehouse. Like they put a warehouse on it, and that is it. And it just stores goods there for people. Mm -hmm. Quite a useless waste of this property at this point in time. And you understand the market. The biggest thing that you notice, though, is all of his salaries are weak, exhausted, malnourished, malnourished. Yeah. <laughs> and like either they're super poor and they're not doing well or there's some embezzlement or some reason that the salary's not being taken care of. And as you look at them and you study them, you get the same feeling that the gentleman that shared this information with you probably came from these sailors. And then combining it with the comment of the, how many more am I going to lose to your house for sailors and mercenaries and stuff. So with that information, what would you do? The lands are great. He mm -hmm. definitely... They're lacking something. Um... So his thought was, for the amount of money they've been getting for this place, he wants to match that and more, but he's taking it over. Like, it's going to be under the Kasseri, it's going to be Kasseri land. And they're kind of like absorbing them yeah. in a way, yep. or absorbing this area and including any of the sailors that are a part of this too so being absorbed into the Kasseri but they get a cut that would have been a little higher of what they have been getting out of the place uh, Lord Thane would speak direct with you <clears throat> oh, I don't think that I'm going to gain much from this land as you can tell and I'm sure my sailors would be happy to be with you. Our houses are not the same like they used to be. Your dad and my dad, well, they would work together like nothing before back in the day. He's certainly like a frog in his throat. But uh, I think that it would be an honor for my family to sign this over to yours. But Make sure you respect our name. Of course. Our fathers fought in many naval wars together. And skirmishes and I heard good stories about your father. Yes, we are. The family's made us a sea. Or the sea's made us a family. Oh, I'll get it though. And we're going to keep it that way. Well, then we have a deal. We'll take care of you. We'll take care of these sailors. And we'll see what we can gain from this place. Wonderful. Does that have any sea urchins? Are you asking Jacob or the guy? I'm just being funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's just meta. Because <laughs> you stole my thunder. I was going to say, watch out for the sea urchins, but whatever. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Great minds think alike, guys. <clears throat> um, so, and then the last little bits for you. I'm not going to make you put a roll. You've been pretty successful all night. As you are, when you return back to Waterdeep and you're getting off the ship on the dock, the captain would pause you for a second. <clears throat> Lord, Lord Kisari. Yeah, I, thank you for me and the sounds. Of course, it's an honor to be able to work with you and have you become partly House Kisari, I guess, now. Long live Lord Kisari. Thank you. This will be quite an adventure. And you guys would meet at the public building to sign over documents and property rights and whatnots. What nuns? What nuns? <laughs> I love you. I like it. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Flashing away from that scene, we're going to go to Tetsu. Looking rough, but from neck down. The head is gleaming 
and sparkling and bright. You, after the pass by and back kick from the griffin, it comes back around and it's coming down on him as if a hawk coming down upon a rodent. And Tetsu takes that second. Here's Cass cheering him on. And the lightning strike that comes from the horn right into that bird's mouth because the eagle head of the griffin and literally explodes him from the inside out. <laughs> nice. Oh my. <laughs> the blood and feathers Fatality. spattering all over Tetsu. Yeah. And the beak <laughs> tumbles and lands right in front of him and he just steps forward crushes it with his hoof. <laughs> Absolute silence at first. As an impressive display of strength. And then the crowd goes insane. Lucius would stand and clap too. <laughs> Lord Tatsu. Lord Tatsu, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tatsu has his first victory. All right. Yeah, Tatsu. <laughs> and you guys all did pretty well overall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> jumping back to finish up before we move to the next scene. All right. The hunt goes well, and we're returning from the islands. And Valeria has requested a quiet moment on the aft of the ship, the back end. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've set up a crate, and some food has been served. Fresh shark flank has been grilled nice. for you guys. And uh, this was quite respectful to do to our house. And unique. Ah, I'm full of surprises. Mm. But thank you. This was an absolute pleasure. You've really impressed us gather dresses. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't sure if I would, but... I mean, would we have much rather it hunted in the woods? But this was quite a shock. <laughs> and Lord Gather just had a, a mighty fine time. I figured the Lord had seen many, many things. Hopefully I could give him a taste of something new. If that's all I can do as <laughs> Amiga Man. Cuts a piece of the shark flank. I've actually never had this. Hmm. Not only are you sailors, but you can cook too. Ah, we do find the best. My brother especially knows how to find the right men. Good. Ooh, are we here to watch another sunset? If we can find enough peace with all the... <laughs> and some of my younger siblings run by. Oh, yeah. Family. <laughs> it was but... really wonderful for you to do an open invitation. As I said before, Lady Valera, they're more than just getting to know you. I hope our families can get to know each other better yeah after. she has the fork and she's like twirling it on the tip very beautifully and elegantly <laughs> yeah i just i have a feeling that this invitation has more than to do than just us having dinner on a ship well i was hoping if the message hasn't made it to the lord yet if it hasn't i shall make sure immediately if you are so willing, Lady Valera, I would like to formally offer courtship to you. If, again, if you are willing. I'm, I'm willing, and, uh, well, Lord Galadress is a bit hesitant. Good. But he's wise. Oh, hmm. Why is there always this joker in the deck as they would say with you i i don't think that joker would quite be right hmm. it is i simply find the whole adventure quite enjoyable i never know what's going to happen next and i never know what's going to come out of your mouth next. <laughs> sometimes neither do i <laughs> but truly <laughs> it's as i said at the ball I'm just a man. I am a brief moment in this world. 
and I will enjoy every moment of it. Well, Lord Galadras made a funny joke of what would you be willing to give up for me? Hmm. But then said that I'm welcome to enjoy this time. If you wish to court me, that is here in the books. It would be my honor. And I hope also that I bring you much enjoyment, <laughs> even if it is at my own expense. <laughs> but truly, if, as I said before, I, I do not want to only pursue your heart, but I think there is much our families could do together. So if Lord Galadris would wish to have a meeting with Lord Kisari, I can set that up. I think that is and would be wise. It's interesting. I didn't take you for a wise one. Well, I try to learn from the best. And who is that? Lord Lucius the Third, for certain. But everyone, everyone I meet has something they can offer. Hmm. If, if I can at least keep my eyes open. We're not fixated on things. Well. We always have to have a priority list. <laughs> this was a special time. I really appreciate it. I appreciate it as well. Thank you. Well, I will talk with Lord Lucius. Lord Gavitris. No, I'll talk with Lord Lucius. Next. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that will be... Fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be something if we ended up facing each other in the games? It would be terribly exciting. I think it would. It'd be even more fun for us to sit together during that combat if it happened. I would love it. Me too. We aren't going to go easy. I hope you won't either. Oh no. <laughs> that's the fun <laughs> of it, right? I... You haven't gone easy for my heart, that's for sure. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. I will always try my best. And I will never stop trying. You know, it's interesting. The rumors I hear about you and the warnings I've received from many, many of interesting folk have not matched what I've met. Well, you know, stories. Things change and morph, passing from one person to another. Hmm. And we do put on a mask for the world. Hmm. As much as we don't want to. I hope we both can get to see the truest part of each other. I would love that. Be gentle with Lucius. <laughs> well, I'm just seeing what the author is, and then I'll let Father know, and then... It will sorry, be good. Lord, Lord Galadress know. He means well. I'll be the messenger. <laughs> that is good. Lord Lucius is efficient in everything, including his words. Wonderful. So where does the flowery language come from in your line? Hmm. Uh, it's a little bit from my father, actually. Yeah, I've heard. Mm. Though grandfather had certainly his ways. They were just rougher. So the <laughs> softening comes <laughs> from my father. Wonderful. <laughs> the kids are all running around. The sailors are all grinning ear to ear because they know they're getting good rum when oh, they yeah. get back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have a victory in the first round of the ring by Lord... <laughs> Lord He's Tetsu. Lord Tetsu. I, Lord Tetsu. <laughs> I like it. We're going to yeah. have to stick that one. The third. <laughs> the third. <laughs> now, what are some moments from <clears throat> these last five days that you... Four would share with one another around a meal. If you would go to the meal, of course. Caspian's going to the meal. Oh, I, I assume as <laughs> much. But it's a dinner. Yeah. But, you know, unformal, not every but like the four of you catching up. What details are being shared? Check the time real quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean Caspian Caspian's saying everything. Yeah. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lucius is letting them know about the deal to take over Rose Cord Refuge. Okay. And I guess whatever information we're able to gather from that person. We're not doing that yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I guess, uh, yeah. Um, 
Drew would share what's first the information about um, the supplies for the information. Yep. Um, and he'll probably tack on a little bit of like the whole gang stuff as well. Okay. Just to kind of give a general idea about who we're dealing with. And, you know, if there was going to be any call-offs of the deal because of it. <laughs> Do we all know who we were dealing with? Or no? Not really. Not really. So, more has a thing. Yeah. But I'm not sure. It would be pretty much after this. So if there's any back and forth conversation, this would be like the end of dinner kind of thing. Okay. And she's going to be just fairly quiet through dinner. Mm -hmm. Just kind of sit back. Arms crossed. Maybe a foot up on the table. <laughs> um, we should definitely find out who this is if we are supplying anything. But there's also the possibility of having them work with us, you know, on a mm -hmm. consistent basis. And I was, just to keep tabs, too. I, w I was thinking we could slip something in with the, the poisons. Not something to sabotage, but more of a letter. Um, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. we can either let open a, a channel communication, or we can, they can just throw it away. I like that. Yeah. Did we want to get involved in such things? Um. Because at least what I was thinking, if we are going to be doing a lot of this overhead thing, maybe we do need to be getting down and dirty into the, the lower ends of things. Because mm -hmm. if anything, just at least being more affable with these people might lead to less assassination attempts on our, on our behest. I agree. Yes. Um, better to have them as friends than enemies. So I agree. Try to reach out and try to form some kind of deal. We'll speak their language. Yes. I was thinking if we encroached upon them and asking too much of what they were doing, they might get more suspicious of us rather than actually take the deal. We need, if we really want to go after who, um, who's after us. We do need that information. Mm -hmm. So we answer on their terms and then they can come to us if they so wish. Mm -hmm. Well, we can let them know about our new islands that we have and we have more resources now, hopefully, and, you know, butter them up a little bit. Very well. I'll make sure to it. Thank you. This is fun. Yes, you had fun. Well, yes, but I know this is all fun, isn't it? I do wish I was there with you. Oh, well, it was rather exciting. Although, a clandestine meeting in a dark alleyway, that sounds rather spicy as well. <laughs> I really wasn't wanting that to happen, but oh. you seem to be very p pushy and to the point. <laughs> Uh, well, more information is always good. That's why I went about it. I figured we had to give something that we weren't going to be using during this. We were not going to be trying to poison anyone to death. And they could use it, and we could use our coin for something better. That sounds good. Perhaps we we'll want find out. the market to head more in that direction anyways, away from coin. More to animal mm. parts, anyways. So the exciting news at the table would be another ship, more sailors, island, Tetsu winning, and a courtship, and a courtship. <laughs> Look at that! And uh, she you... may be coming to call on you, Lucius. Be kind. <laughs> you know that your next dinner's not over. I'm just throwing information out there, so don't worry. I did not forget about you more. <laughs> you know that your next challenger is House Tarm, and the only thing you know about them because they have they made it. They were they had like a bye week or whatever it's called, 
for the first section of the round, you know, round two. This is the first time their beast is entering the ring. The only mm. thing that you've heard in rumors is that it is earthy or rocky. Oh, Pokemon, okay. so. Yeah, Rusty. electric is ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> Dice did all of this, not Jacob. I love you. <laughs> well, Jacob did. So. You just ram through rock. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something to consider uh, as you guys are all having these conversations at dinner, and you're eating this deliciously fresh killed hunter shark. Oh yeah. Any other back and forth before our. Morgana has a moment because she's been so quiet. Go for it. So, um, this would be like as dinner is wrapping up, Cass and Drew are probably maybe in, engrossed in their own conversation or they don't have to be out of the room, but kind of the point of the conversation where the dinner starts breaking up a mm. bit. Um, and more is going to, uh, kind of pull Lucius aside and be like well it's uh, been most enlightening working with Isidru um, and I suppose to the point uh, he's made it quite clear to me something I should have known already I'm not sure how much I can help you here. He has his methods, and I hope they work for him. I hope they work for all of you. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. If I find something that might help, I'll pass it along, but... um. But I suppose I'm trying to say this has been fun. But I can't really help you. I thought maybe my old skills would be useful to what you're trying to do, but I don't know if you're trying to play the game or you're trying to not play the game or what you're trying to do, but... It's a little of both. <sighs> but I'm sure... Your presence being there helped a lot. I'd like to think so, but... I feel like I've overstayed my welcome. All of this... But it's been weeks now, hasn't it? It's longer than I planned on. And, uh, have you thought about what you want? Don't think you want to be in bars your whole life and what, what are you, what adventure do you want to go on? I just want to be me, and I can, in the bars, and the taverns, and the alleys. I've worked hard for that. People look at me like myself, not a chess piece. And... Well, you always looked at me like myself. But you also have to look at chess pieces, and I understand that. And I don't want to hurt this for you. But I will if I stay. I can help you. I can find some answers. The what Drew's talking about. I can just talk to 
for those people if I'm by myself. Might take a while. Find out what happens. But they like to drink and they like to fight and they like to gossip because that's what you do. They'll trust you, for sure. I do think it's... I do think you and Isidru can work together. Bring, he brings the leads and he bring the brawn to it. But that's only if you want to. I... You don't owe me anything. You can leave, you can... You're free to do whatever you want. I know that you're feeling cooped up and I... <sighs> Unfortunately, that's just the way that it is right now. A courtyard is a poor substitute for an entire field. Yes. I would like you to... I'd like you to stick around, though. I'm sure you'll see me around. I'm not leaving water deep. I just need to stretch my legs, perhaps. And, uh... I suppose see what happens. Do look out for the boys. They're both trying very hard, but... They haven't been doing this long, and your house has been very kind to both of them. That is wonderful and a terrible disservice. Some more testing. But that's what life brings, and that's what I'm learning too. Um, I just want them to get see better. it coming. Yeah. I don't know if they do. And maybe I'm overthinking it. And well. I learned most of my lessons from getting knocked down. I'd rather not everyone have to. But it made you who you are. That's a good thing. Yes, but not everyone needs to be made into me. Yes. <sighs> yeah. Well. I'll see you around. Who knows? Give it long enough. Might climb up to your balcony again. That would be very amusing. <laughs> well, if you make it a challenge, of course. Climb some mountains. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't make myself hard to find. Never do. And maybe by some terrible twist of fate, you'll find me at another party. That would be fun. This time, maybe we can skip the dancing and hang out somewhere else. <laughs> I'd like that. When you're not too busy being a lord, of course. working on it. And she'll just yeah. turn around and walk out. Yeah. I think walk her out at least mm -hmm. to the door. Yeah. Yeah. And she'll just kind of kind of spin, kind of do a little and then just walk down the alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is a perfect spot to end it. Nice. Well, what an exciting evening. <laughs> <laughs> Words. Um, Words. Yeah. So, Tatsu won the first round. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, quite valiantly. Uh, thank you to the superiority die. Mm -hmm. Got to avoid a lot of damage. 
next time I would like to have, and chat remind me, the next time I would like to have a scene between you and Tetsu at some point after the combat, just kind of paint a little picture of what that would look like. But for the most part, we are fully advanced those five days. There's five more days to the fight, so that's going to be gaining resources like information, training Tetsu, preparing, finding information about the sea urchins and the trading and all of that, and mm -hmm. then whatever other things that you guys would like to come up with, and whatever side adventure we're going on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I have a lot to process. <laughs> I'm glad we record this. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> I'm going to rewatch uh, this one multiple awesome. times. So thank you all for yes. being a part of this. You guys are awesome. One more horsey hooves for, yes. for the night. Yes, you go up. <laughs> Better yet, it's as Morgana leaves the vicinity. Yes. <laughs> a, a group of horses roids on boy. Calls the horsey Just over. as it pans back, they're just like this stampede of a bunch of them in the foreground, <laughs> just completely ruining the scene. I love it. That's a Clyde's tale. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> there's always one. <laughs> Isra Drew does receive some letters we have to read later. Well, uh -oh. or not. Mm. I might read them to you, actually. Uh, ooh. Might be in a announcement. Ooh. <laughs> you tell me, horsies. Tune in next time because this has been another fantastic <laughs> episode of AfterQuest and Avenue Studios production. Do give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to follow the adventure. You can further support us and become a part of the ever-growing forest known as Avenue Studios by joining our Patreon or Locust community. Doing so not only helps us continue to create high-quality content, but you'll also gain access to bonus content as well as our private Discord where you can chat with everyone here and so many more people, watch games, play movies, flip, strike that, reverse it, <laughs> and so much more. <laughs> <laughs> one half or the other <laughs> it all works and uh, don't forget to check out the links below for the sound music and ambience that we use as well as Battle Zoo Bestiary from Roll for Combat mm -hmm. Interplane Our Crossroads Adam check him out and Round the Hearth and uh, thank you so much for joining the adventure we will see you next time bye 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 Goodbye,